Joseph Joseph YouTube, welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Woman admits that other women have looked down on her for not running up the dinner bill on a date. They've looked down on her for, con for being considerate on a date. Don't believe me? Check it out for yourself. Let's get it. Wow. You, know, you know what's funny? I've had females look down upon me for saying certain things. And I'm not trying to up big myself up, but this mm -hmm. is genuinely how I feel. If we're going on a date and you take me to a nice restaurant, mm -hmm. I'm not going to order the lobster and steak. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm just not going to do yeah, that. I just yeah. think it's inconsiderate. Yeah. yeah. And then if you take me to a nice restaurant, I personally always offer, because I know you're going to pay mm -hmm. if you're the kind, you don't understand, yeah. but I'm, I'm going to always offer, hey, can I leave the tip? Yeah, I always wow. ask something that. about that is so special to yeah. me. Yeah. And, and that's the kind of woman that I want to marry. And it's like, just even if I don't want you to do it, even just offering it, it's just, it makes a man feel appreciated. Yeah. In that less than 60 second clip, this woman showed just how easily a woman can go from being bunched into being part of the pal of uncaffeinated modern women. Yes. I don't drink coffee to standing out that thing she said about offering to leave a tip it's not about the money and i believe he said that it's not about the money it's about a woman who you know has got your back it means a lot because further than just the actual money it means that you are considerate about the financial burdens that man may go through, emotional burdens a man may go through, um, pressures of life. It means that you think about other people other than yourself. And you might think that's not rare, but it is, especially today. Especially today. Especially today when you have women who absolutely will not accept anything more than some five-star restaurant and they want to see you spend as much money as possible and run it up on your dollar just because they think they deserve it this also reminds me of another video the video involved a guy who was a dating coach and it was pretty popular a while back it was like making its runs all through the internet. I'm trying to find it right now and see if I can play it for you guys. But it was a dating coach who was basically showing the power of a woman offering to help pay for the date. I believe a man should pay for the date as a man, especially if you're a man who wants to take the leadership responsibility within a relationship. Now, this doesn't mean that you make six figures and you pay for everything. People take such crazy extremes, but you can agree that, hey, I don't mind taking on the covering these dates because I can and not only that I want to do that for you it doesn't mean that you're gonna pay her phone bill next month that's not what I'm talking about here all right so I wasn't able to find it in my videos but here I think I found it online and this is Matthew Hussey no more wasting time let's get it let's have one more question we had this person at the back in the stripes um yeah let's hear from you um during the dating period, you know, after like four or five months of dating, um, I just wondering at what point does it get, do you have to pay, did the woman have to pay when they go out? The guy is asking that I should, there should be half and half at that point when you already. At, at what point? When you already been dating for four or five months. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, okay, uh, to, to give you a quick answer on firstly, I think we should just deal with the who should pay thing to begin with. Who, when you're on a date, who should pay? <laughs> I know, I mean, that's what I told him, you know, I'm sorry. But, I say, you da I'm dating, we're dating. You but know, here's the, here, here, okay, to he's supposed to pay. Yeah, that's you're what I told him. I, but you're supposed to have sex with him whenever he says. No. <laughs> Whenever Walt what's, wanted, where, right? where, where, but what's the, where does this double standard come from? Right. I'm sorry. It's the reality. You guys can, you can, you can moan at it all you want, but the moment you say to a guy, you have to pay for my time, 
you're saying this relationship isn't equal. This relationship isn't equal. My time is worth more than yours, so you should pay for it. I wonder what paradigm that sets up. Here's my view. If you go on a date with a guy and you don't offer to pay your share, you weren't taught right. If you go on a date and he doesn't pay, he wasn't taught right. That is such an important nuance that needs to be understood. And he's not saying the men shouldn't pay, but it's two people who were taught to first the man who's like, all right, well, and guys, we're assuming this isn't like some equal partnership stuff. This is not what we talk about here on this channel. But a man who's raised up to foot the bill, and, and, and you may disagree with this, and that's okay, but most men who embrace the type of relationship where they want to take headship, they're going to be okay paying for that date. And they expect the woman to be pleasant and not be an uh, entitled, selfish person who not only expects you to pay, but is going to run your bill up like we saw earlier in that last video. Keep listening. I can tell you right now, if I was dating someone and they never offered to pay, I wouldn't be dating them. I can tell you that now. If they never offered to pay, I would not be dating them because I'd say, this is the most polite they're ever going to be. And they're not even trying to pay now. Um, <laughs> what does that say about my future? But I, I look, this, let me come at this from a different angle. I would... I would be treating, I will always treat my partner how I would treat my best friend. And I wouldn't apply a different standard to my partner than my best friend. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't say to my best friend, let's always go out to dinner and, and you always pay. I'd say, let's be teammates here in whatever way we can. And maybe, by the way, proportionately, what you can do is less than what he can do. That's a different thing. If he says to you, I want to go stay at the top hotel in Big Sur this weekend, and it's 1,500 bucks a night, and you say, I, can't, I don't have the money. It's his job to say, it doesn't matter. I didn't do it so you could pay. I did it because I want to go, and I want to take you. Great. That's what that is, right? Or if you both agree to go on holiday, and you have a fifth of his earning potential, you say, I want to contribute to a fifth of this holiday. It's overly simplistic, but you get what I'm saying, right? I will contribute on the level I can contribute. Let me tell you what means something to a guy. Trying. That means something to a guy. When he feels that you're not even trying to contribute, that's when he feels used. Powerful. Um, point that I was made and, and also what the lady earlier showed. Guys, listen, as always, I'm curious to know, what do you think? Leave your comments down below. Is this something you agree with? Till next time, I'm out. Peace.